Hey Melanin Nation and gang, it's your girl I Am Nubian with I Am Nubian Customs and I'm just here vlogging for week 21 before we jump into all of that. Any new viewers, hit that subscribe button and that bell. Don't forget to hit that like button and yes, and watch all the way to the end of my video. Also, before we jump into week 21, I left off vlogging for weeks 15 and 16 like I said it was over the holidays I was having a lot of symptoms and things like that and I just want to catch y'all up for weeks 17 18 19 and 20 which I did vlog for week 20 and it's currently on my phone but being that my storage and everything is like super 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 weird right now like well nothing back up to my phone or my google backup and stuff so i'm having real trouble with editing right now so i'm sorry you guys um on top of the fact that i just needed a whole just break from social media anyways i have not been really on facebook i haven't really been on instagram the most i've been doing is a lot of editing when i don't edit i'm just doing my daily life task and trying to keep my mental sane <laughs> so um also, I'm currently recording this on my tablet because, like I said, my phone is acting real stupid. So, I'm going to have to go to the phone store and see what's up. We're getting a chip or something like that. And I keep messing with my hair because I just sweat earned it this morning. I watched it last night. And, yeah. I like this front part. This is whatever. So, weeks 17 to 19, I pretty much was having some of the same symptoms. Um... For the most part, it was just a little bit of nausea, but the nausea had really died down. I will only bleed the whip if I drink a little bit of liquor. Um, my bones and stuff really wasn't you no know, hurting or nothing like that. I was just having a little bit of headaches and a real, 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 real bad toothache um, on the right side, top of my mouth. Um, and I was just having like really 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 bad like hunger attacks and stuff like that if you were watching and following my vlog and I also had stopped taking all of my um, supplements and things like that and the only thing that I would take here and there was folic acid or I take a little bit of my text here and there um, what else what and during those weeks, it was during the holidays and things like that. Um, I just was very, like, mood swingy and things like that. So, if you want to, you can go catch up on all my women's health videos. It has something to do with PSOS and pretty much all of them. And also my vegan limit, vegan living journeys. I edit a whole bunch of those and some of those are up as well. Um, and I'm sorry if I feel like I'm talking so fast. It's just the day I did this video, it was like everything just ran so smoothly for the video just not to download. But I'm trying to not make this a uber, uber, uber long video. Um, and being that last week was week 20 and I said today we're on week 21. So to catch you up for week 20, pretty much the day I had vlogged, um, I did a natural hair tutorial that day. So you probably see my hair. And um, some pigtails with the back flat iron, you know, real natural style. It was pretty kind of cute. Um, and that week I had ended up, well, a couple weeks before week 20, I ended up going to the doctors. And it took a week for my um, ultrasound test and everything to come back. So it came back that um, my heartbeat test was negative for the most part that I'm thinking because they never even really said anything about it. But the fact that they didn't bring it up, I'm assuming in my head. You know, it was negative or whatever. Even though I did steal some of my ultrasound pictures and they looked kind of weird. And I didn't get the vaginal ones. I got the topical ones. And the ones at the doctor's office that they showed me was more of the vaginal ones that they took. And pretty much, um, my cysts are back. Um, and they're a little bit more chronic than they were the last time. And I think it's because, um... Because I was taking the supplements and stuff like that, and a lot of them were passing out, it was making them, you know, break apart and stuff like that. Because they're not really in big masses, they're more like a tinier box, and it's going like in a pearl shape around both of my ovaries. And the fact that um, I had stopped, I'm sorry, I just burped. 
But in the fact that I was doing all that vegan and cleansing and detoxing my body, it was, you know, making everything break down. But at the same time that I had stopped doing that um, and stopped cooking at home and stuff, and I reverted back to more eating out and stuff, I think the processed foods and stuff made everything flare up or what you know so we're gonna have to just get back to detoxing the body and things of that nature and I have brought all my medications to the new place because if you haven't already know because I didn't vlog for so long I recently um moved or what not but not I still have my old place but I still moved so um I currently just moved all my medications to the new spot because that's pretty much where I be at um so everything is there for the most part and um I'm probably gonna start vlogging and stuff from the new house and things like that I probably won't do a tour until um I actually get more furniture and things like that for the right now it's just like the basics but um, I still need to get some more pieces and decorations and things like that before I'll do a um, house vlog and things like that but um yeah was moving and stuff so wasn't able to vlog for any of that and that same week um, we had moved the day I had my the week I had my doctor's appointment. So, and then I ended up being able to go to the dentist for my teeth because my teeth were hurting so bad. So, um, it comes to find out that not only are my cysts back on my ovaries, and I need to go back to being vegan detox, but, um, being that from all the throwing up and stuff that I was doing and having to drink pop, which everybody knows I do not drink pop. And then when I do is furnace or Sprite, you know, something light. And I might drink orange soda every once in a while, which my boyfriend loves orange soda. So he's always buying that shit. So um, it caused a lot of cavities in the back of my teeth. So... Basically, any feelings that I have um, already done, being that they've been in there for so long, need to get redone. Um, and I also have new cavities on basically all my back teeth. Or just got cavities on them. Um, my front teeth are pretty much good. It's just the back ones because like I said, from all the throwing up and then drinking pop late at night and then I lay down and stuff like that it fucked my teeth up so and be, with that being said my I'm gonna say the third tooth over right here um it ended up getting infected so all of the symptoms and stuff that I was reading off as could be a possible symptoms and things like that were caused by the infection in my mouth because if you know anything about you know small bacteria stuff like that it's basically a parasite and parasites cause you to have fatigue to have mood swings it causes um, fatigue it can cause chronic pain to joints and um, ligaments it can you know all these crazy things so that's pretty much what I was feeling was the infection in my mouth and the reason why I ended up going to the dentist because it got to the point where I was waking up out of my sleep in the middle of the night like damn near about to fucking cry like it was like y'all put all these motherfuckers like <laughs> the whole top right side of my mouth would just hurt even like the first couple days on my antibiotics like when I would first take my antibiotics because it was so much pressure in my mouth from the infection um it was it would hurt for like a good 45 minutes before it would start soothing it and also the infection was starting to cause um 
a icky like smell and i and remember i kept telling you guys like my saliva and stuff is getting real thick and i had that weird taste in my mouth it was from that infection it wasn't until i started taking the medication it started making like this i guess from it draining through my saliva because the abscess was so deep in my gums that it wouldn't just pop normally or they couldn't just drain it in the um, dentist's office so yeah but my mouth don't stink no more like that well it really wasn't stinking just only when I took the medication but I was just brushing my teeth after I took the medication um so they prescribed me amoxicillin and ibuprofen and I'm pretty much about done with these so that's been a great help and so now with that being said I just have to figure out um when I'm gonna get my next fillings and things of that nature because I need a lot of fillings in the back so I probably just go back to the same place that I went and do that. Also, with that being said, the same tooth that got infected um, ended up getting infected because the cavity is deep in my tooth. And the cavity is basically almost damn near touching a nerve in my mouth. So I was recommended to wait at least about a week before I make my appointment because there's no guarantee when I'm going to get an appointment because the way their office is, they're, they're always super booked, but they have a high cancel rate. So they'll call you and tell you, just, hey, you know, somebody want to hear me. Um, so I might end up having to get a root canal. But on the brighter side of things, my wisdom teeth at the top did end up coming all the way in. And he said from the way that they look that they can just go ahead and pull those right there in their office. But on the downside, the ones at the bottom are still struggling to come in. And they are coming in um, sideways or crooked or however you want to call it. Because there is not enough room in the back of my mouth for that. So, I would still have to get those surgically removed. But I did get the referral for root canal and things of that nature. I just really don't know what the F I did with that paper. So, I'm just going to have to go through my purse again and try to find... Oh, no, here we go. So, yeah. Y'all see that? I have to get, like, so much work done. But yeah, they gave me this referral to this place so I can get my root canal. So that's always a plus. Um, it started off for week 21 because when I vlog for y'all for week 20, it was a Thursday. It was like the 23rd or something like that. Today is Wednesday, the 29th of January. So, again... Um, I might just come back to later on tonight and redo my pillow vlogger for the most part. My same prescription um, packs, how I had them for a couple weeks back when I was taking them on a daily, um, morning, noon, and night basis, um, are still in there. Um, I'm definitely going to start back on a probiotic or go get another probiotic. And I definitely want to go get some more macro roots because I really don't have a lot of the macro roots. And I also would like to get another one of the um, the vaginal vitamins that I was taking, the probiotic um, vitamins that I was taking for that. Um, it's a pretty little penny, but I really think that they were worth it. Um, I did pass a lot of cysts while taking that medication, um, and I didn't have any allergic reactions or anything to that, but... Um, being that I am on this journey and I am a little bit adamant about trying to get this, you know, everything out of the way, but I don't want to rush anything too, too crazy. I might um, try the prenatal one that they had because that one was a little bit cheaper as well, but it still has a lot of the main bacterias or probacterias, however you want to pronounce that. 
um, good bacteria that I need that was in the previous one that I bought before and it was the it was the raw vaginal supplements um, and I got that at the better health food store so if you have any type of health food stores or um, whole foods or you know some place that they sell all organic stuff or a lot of organic stuff you can probably find it in um, those stores the ones I had well the one I had purchased is supposed to be refrigerated um, but they do have ones that's on the shelf that don't have to be refrigerated but it's pretty much the same thing pretty much the same price they might differ anywhere between like two and four dollars but I don't really think it's a big difference um and also you can order these off of amazon or um ebay <laughs> i'm sorry i haven't online shopped in a long time so yeah i just want to get that out there so um and also for my new subbies if you're just not joining again i really 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 appreciate if you would you know go check out some of my other videos i do hair videos um I try out stuff. Um, I want to start doing some story times, um, some question and answers, which I did have a video of some questions and answers that I was doing the same day that I vlogged for week 20 for y'all. But again, my phone started tripping. But if there is a way that I can restore the information that I have on this device, um, it will be uploaded along with this video being uploaded. So again, I have apologize for the wait you guys um and thank you for rocking with me thank you for rocking with my channel if i am helping you please just drop a comment down below let me know how you feel if there's something that you would like to see on my channel just let me know i'm pretty much an open book um but yeah you guys also um another thing that i touch basis with on that video was talking about because y'all know i go on my little spiritual rants um i was talking about how if you want to do something go ahead and do it i know i started my youtube in the beginning well no yeah it was in the beginning of last year um I started making videos and then I didn't start my actual channel until around like May or something. But I had started vlogging like way before then. Um, just to have, you know, things to edit and stuff like that because I wanted to come prepared and I needed to learn how to do it. And it took me a minute to learn how to edit and stuff like that. But if it's something that you wanted to do or God gave you a gifted talent, do not waste those talents just sitting on them. Do not sit there. I'm not, I know everything's, I know not everybody's going to root for you or haters in disguise. Like there's people who um, praise you in disguise or false, you know what I'm saying, interpretations of how they feel about whatever the fuck it is that you want to do or good at and stuff like that. And that's because their own jealousies and own insecurities and things that people don't told them in their mindset of how they look at things. That's why people say it's always mind over matter. And you always have to water your garden of the things that you want. Nothing happens just overnight. Most things that you are granted and blessed with is because even in disguise of you not even knowing your damn self. You've been working on the shit your whole life. So with that being said. Not everybody can be the drug dealer. Not everybody can be the number one prostitute. Not everybody can be the number one stripper. Not everybody can be the number one negative ass shit advocate. Okay? Like, we need more resources of different things. It's like not everybody can be in the arts like me. Not everybody can be in the food administration. Not everybody can be in child care and health care. Not everybody, you know what I'm saying? You need different people for different things. You know what I'm saying? And the more people start to realize that, I understand that we live in a physical world. Yes, there's bills. Yes, there's things like that. But if you take the time to invest in yourself, 
the way you invest into other people or other people's companies and try to manage your money and spend it in a more positive way instead of a negative way, a lot of things will start to slowly change, especially, I know, in the black community. We support so much other people and do not support ourselves. The stuff that we say is so dumb and we spend money on is the same shit that, in a hypocrite way, a lot of blacks go spend their money on. And I feel like it's just so goofy and it makes us just look so stupid. It just it just don't make no sense. So, again, if you good at something, you know you got a guy, get the talent. Fuck with whoever got to say about it. Do it. Whenever you got spare time, you feeling down, you feeling mad, let that be your outlet. Let that be your voice. You know what I'm saying? Let that be your hustle. Let that be your ambition. Let that be your motivation. Let that be your therapy. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it's different strokes for different people. However you need to look at whatever it is that you want to do, do that. Everybody learn at a different pace. Everybody shines at a different pace, a different time. All that. Stop looking at the next person like, dang, this person got this, this person got that. I don't have that. Because we're all blessed with different stuff. If everybody was the same, this world would be so boring. And at the end of the day, we are all the same. We just have different patterns to us. You feel me? So... Just dead all that negative shit. Like, this negative era, this chaos era, this selfish era. I understand everybody is so hurt. I understand we lived at an all-time high monopoly of the rich getting rich and the poor getting poor. And even though... How can I put this? We will never get paid the cost of living. The only way you will be be able to get paid your cost of living is to get one of those jobs. Which, in order to get one of them jobs, you have to play those people's game. So why not just invest in yourself instead of take the easy route and go play Monopoly, pretty much. And that's all I want to say, like, um... Hopefully, there's some gems in my messages, whether it was on a health tip, mental tip, you know, however you need to take it. You got you a good laugh or something, because I know sometimes I be a little bit crazy. I be going back watching my videos, like, <laughs> like I can't believe that was just me, but, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, y'all, so, again, I love y'all. Thank you for supporting the Melanation Gang. You know, the Melanation and Movement. And again, on my show, or not my show, but on my channel. Woo, look at Spirit. Spirit, <laughs> spirit telling me I'm going to have a show. <laughs> yes, I'm very spiritual, y'all. Um, so I talk about spirituality, mental wellness, and dealing with like depression and things like that. Um, healthy um, lifestyle choices, um, beauty tips and hacks far as hair, makeup, and things like that, which I need to do more of the makeup level. Um, I'm going to try to get with my cousin this weekend as well. She does a lot of uh, makeup. She had got her certificate and stuff from school, so I might go over there. I've been telling her I want to get her on my channel, so collab with her on some things. Um, um, I do DIYs. I went to school for fashion. Um, I've been trying to get back in school for the last couple of years, but again, things have just been turning for me to take different paths in different directions. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've been saying, even though I love the fashion, I want to do the fashion thing, and I want to be an ambassador for so many different of my own companies that I have in my mind, how I want it to be set up and done. Um, the spirituality route is calling me more and more and more so i might go back to school for astrology um or 
trying to figure out a way if they have classes for like natural medicine and things like that so I can get into that type of health field but if not I might go back to school myself for beauty school just because I know that just like the health field those type of jobs and services will always be needed and it's more my speed and my type of thing that I like to do and it would coincide with my channel and other companies and things of that sort that I would like to do more than on the health field tip where it's more standardized and want to be FDA this and oath that. So with that being said, we'll just see how my cards unfold for me. Um, Alright, uh, I'm about to get back to my grandma be her, her lunch and they'll be ready for me to go from work in a little bit. And again, sorry my camera sucks, but my parents did come out with a fly, fly, fly. <laughs> melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Poppin', Melanin Taking, Oh, what the world, period. <laughs> Alright, ciao, y'all.